Ostrehu by Imploding Colon, read by Deathlight, Chapter 124, Booth. With a series of echoing steps, Steelteeth made his way up a steep stairwell until he came to a shuffling stop in the wing of the Verdestone Palace, overlooking the bright morning sunrise. His steely, aquamarine eyes glared off from the shadow of his broad rimmed hat as he paused on the marble floor, looking, standing, waiting. Everything was quiet, still and empty, but then... Boo! Rimudash grinned upside down at him from above. He gave no reaction, not even a flinch. Ah, oh, come on! Rimud flew right side up and hovered directly in front of him. There's gotta be a nervous heart beating somewhere underneath all that... trench coat. You smell better today. He muttered. Yeah, make sure the chambermaids gave me a lavender rinse with you in mind. Most frickin' embarrassing moment of my life, I swear to Luna, but hey, at least the bed was nice. Did the chambermaids help you to that too? Uh, I, um, it... Rainbow's cheeks blushed furiously. She then frowned. No? In an instant, she was grinning again. But I did get to tell some sweet stories and made them laugh like crazy. I bet you would laugh too. Rainbow Dash, I did not come here to indulge the banal anecdotes of a lone wanderer. Still, he said coldly, I was requested personally by Queen White Mane just an hour ago to escort you safely beyond the borders of Darkstein. And if we are to make haste, we must. Rimudash touched down in front of him, smiling wide. Hit me! At that, Stilteeth actually blinked. I beg your pardon? I want you to hit me! Rainbow beamed. Come on, tall, dark, and ominous. There's a mighty set of buculums hidden somewhere beneath all that coat, so hit me! Miss Dash. Stilteeth spoke, as if from a distance. As Constable of Virtus Stone, I have a great deal of strength at my disposal. I have been known to cripple assassins and render Hydralis paralyzed. Jeez, small world, so have I! Rainbow tilted her chin up and pointed out her muzzle. Now come on, tell me what you got! I will not humor you with this violent request. Cause either you're hitting me or I'm flinging my hooves into your face! Still to his side, he looked as if he was going to leave. Then suddenly, the veritable crack of thunder lit the small, enclosed space. Less than a blink later, Rim was flying from the violent snap of his horseshoes. He pinballed off a pillar, bounced over the floor, and landed in a numb heap in the corner. There she lay, not moving a muscle. Still he stood once more on all fours, smoothing out the folds of his overcoats. Rimudash's body was still. He looked at her. She remained frozen in place. He squinted. She poked her head up, grinning devilishly. Scared you for a moment, did I? He took a deep breath. I am neither frightened nor remorseful. Still see the drone. He watched intently as she stood up, shook her prismatic mane straight, and trotted leisurely towards him. However, I am immensely curious. Rainbow tapped her pendant a good few times, grinning as a tiny, translucent bubble of white energy fluctuated and disappeared in a blink. Alicorn's blessing, your royal highness, Queen White Omato blog, is at me with her super horn. I can summon this shield with a conscious thought at any time. She told me it's only good for a couple months, but hey, I'm not complaining. A buff from a half god is better than none at all. She giggled, shifting the saddlebags on her shoulders. Heh, <laughs> I guess in a way, you could say I leveled up. Rats. No, don't you frickin' start. Rim pointed a hoof at him with a wink. We had a long chat, the queen and I, and she told me that before I begin my journey, I should stop by the capital city of Darkstein. Alas. Constable Steelteeth matches his sigh as he walked further up the stairwell. The very reason I'm here. Yeah, what's up with that? Rainbow remarked. After all the words we had to say with one another, you'd think she'd trust me enough to cross the border on my own. Just what did you and the queen talk about? First things first. Rainbow Dash squinted. Why the hell are we walking up the steps? 
Since you're escorting me and stuff, I figured we'd be hoofing it along the Maryland Sea level. Now, unless you're hiding some wings under that fancy getup of yours. Did or did not, the Queen ask you to trust me in our mutual journey. Don't see that's from above. Rainbow Gold. Alright, fine. I'm mysterious, too tall, dark, and gruesome. She trotted limply up the stairs to follow him. You know, keep that up, and I never have hope of meeting Mrs. Teeth, much less having a bunch of baby teeth. Surely, that's the last yours or my concerns. Hey, who said he didn't have a sense of humor? Uh, where are you taking us anyways? So she fled her rainbow dash into a circular door. He inserted a key and swung the revolving passage open. Inside was a pair of seats, positioned inside a metallic booth. The booth, as it would seem, was located at the far end of a long, horizontal tunnel opening into daylight. When I was recuperating for so long in Darkstein, I inherited more than a proper bill of health and a diplomatic knowledge of the unicorn's culture. So as he said as he jumped into a booth and sat into his seat, I was bestowed with the central tendons of their civilization. I've since learned to incorporate them into my job here at Verda Stone. He motioned for her to jump into the booth. If these Darkstenians show me how to look scary and speak with the emotional inflection of a rattlesnake, Rimbrush hopped into the chair next to him with a fluff of her wings. I'm not sure they're the kind of ponies I want to party with. Was it Queen Whitemane's instruction that you'd party with them? No, but uh, I can't quite explain what White Mane asked me in a single sentence. I think we'll have time. He said, flipping several levers in front of him. What? Rainbow frowned. You mean while we sit here and have a breather? Oh, you have plenty of chances to breathe, alright. Still he's drone. He flung a hoof up to his head and hit an invisible button. A pair of brass rim goggles extended down from the article and covered his eyes. Just then, a two-piece handle rises and he grips it with his forelimbs. I would hold on to something if I were you. What? Oh! Rainbow shrieked and gripped tightly to her seat as the booth shot like a cannon out from the mouth of the tunnel. Daylight exploded around them with a gust of freezing winds and a pair of metal wings shot up from either side of the booth. The vehicle was powered by several horizontal rotors that propelled the sudden airplane eastward beyond the spire of Rita Stone and over the blurring countryside of a Marilyn below. Uh, okay, 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 I give! She just in her seat. This is a much cooler way to get across the border. There is no reason to be afraid, Miss Dash. He said bluntly, above the whipping winds, I'm fully capable of piloting this. I never said I was scared. She frowned, though her teeth chattered. I do, however, wish I used a little filly's room before we took off. A deep groan escaped from the bottom of Steel Teeth's throat. This vehicle is not exactly designed to make return trips. No, no, by all means. <laughs> She scrunched into her seat and took a few solid breaths. Her voice cracked. Let's go forward. Everything works out alright, as long as we look forward. That's quite a noble philosophy. It certainly isn't a boring one. Perhaps now you would care to tell me why Queen White Man insists on you visiting Central Darksteel. That's just it. Have you ever spoke to her personally? Several times. It's an honor. Well, it's a very annoying, cryptic honor. Ever noticed that she says a whole lot of nothing by saying a whole lot of something? I do believe you have lost me, Miss Dash. Hey, you and me both, just keep your eyes on the horizon. She reached into her saddlebag and pulled out her goggles. I felt like I learned the secrets of the world, and yet, if somebody told me that it was all a dream, I'd be tempted to believe them. Then perhaps, it is not something worth sharing. Eh, fine. Rainbow Dash slid her goggles over her eyes. Leaning back, she gave a relaxed smirk. If you really must know, 